Oh, hi guys. I've just been reading this book, Legacy of Honor. Actually, I'd love to share it with you. There's such a, so many cool stories about the values and influences of America's Eagle Scouts. Wow, it's, it's really raining out here, but the sad thing is, I'm in the middle of the wilderness, far from any houses or really any shelter at all. Oh wait, no. I'm backyard camping. I can just go inside and grab an umbrella. So, why don't you follow me while I go grab some stuff? So yeah, I've been reading this book, Legacy Honor. Really great. Lots of cool stories about Eagle Scouts. There's a guy by Ross Perot. Ross Perot, what he did is he was in charge of the, he founded and created the Electronic Data Systems, which is a multinational intelligence and what he did is a revolution, and there was rebellion and all sorts of political stuff happening in Iran and in the city where his thing was taking place. And two of his men got imprisoned. And so as time went by, Ross Perot, this Eagle Scout, tried to politically get this guy out of there. He tried over and over again. But it didn't work because all these riots and the democracy and the system in Iran at the time was changing and it just wasn't working. So he had to evacuate all of his people out of there, but his two men were still in prison. So when he went back home and stuck in Texas at the time, he called up Vietnam veterans from his company, EDS, and put them together and sent them out to go get his two men back. That is just so cool. And those Vietnam veterans and Ross Perot, this Eagle Scout, went in and rescued his two workers because he believes in loyalty to his company and to his people, and he believes in not leaving anyone behind. Another Eagle Scout, which I thought was just fascinating, is a guy by Neil Armstrong. And you guys know Neil Armstrong, the first man to step on the moon. But a story about this that I really wanted to go into was another guy named Tony DeSolvo who went to the 7th National Jamboree with 35,000 other scouts in the same month that Neil Armstrong made it to the moon. And Tony DeSolvo, this Eagle Scout, with 35,000 other scouts, had the opportunity to, as a group, watch Neil Armstrong walk on the moon. What, what an encouragement to be an amazing scout. What an encouragement to watch a fellow Eagle Scout walk on the moon. So the next chapter, another chapter I read, which was really interesting, was one about John Coker, who was a POW or a prisoner of war. And the story starts about how he tries to escape. And it goes on this elaborate story about detail and how he, after like five days, he manages to escape and he crawls out and goes into the river and is almost immediately caught. George Coker spent six years in a POW camp in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. That's, that's insane. And the last thing that he remembered as he was undergoing torture and the Vietnam people trying to get him to say things he didn't want to say, the last thing he remembered was, on my honor, I will do my best. And that is what he held on to and that's what held him through those six years was that Eagle Scout motto. And that scouting motto, on my honor, I will do my best. Um, another Eagle Scout that this author mentioned was a person called Percy Sutton. And Percy Sutton was a Eagle Scout, and he became an Eagle Scout during the Civil Rights Movement. And Percy Sutton, he told a story about how he went on a camping trip. And on that, as he was going to the camping trip, his car broke down. And they were... A family of African Americans and they didn't want to take the bus because it would be humiliating to sit in the back of the bus and so he started just walking to camp it was a good 15 miles left to camp and he was just gonna walk but it didn't work out and he decided that he was gonna take the bus and that was the first time that he sat in a segregated bus and moving forward in Percy Sutton's life he is now became a Tuskegee Airman and also was a freedom rider and when he did those things, nobody looked up to him. But he did them because he was an Eagle Scout and he felt that it was the right thing to do. Another Eagle Scout that I bet a lot of you actually know is a character named 
Jim Lovell. Jim Lovell was aboard Apollo 13. Apollo 13 is the Apollo spacecraft that went wrong. And everything went wrong. Look at that, it worked. So Jim Lovell aboard Apollo 13 where everything is going wrong and somehow through leadership and teamwork as he starts, talks about successfully makes Apollo 13 with the other two members and the people working at home, he's able to get his aircraft, his spacecraft back to land. They didn't make it to the moon, but they survived. And he contributes this victory to scouting. And this is just something I wanted to read to you guys that I thought was really interesting, and I think it applies to our current situation. As we closed our conversation, Jim Lovell shared one more scouting memory with me. His cousin, Bill Leedy, had originally inspired Jim to join scouting, and Lovell's parents had sent their young tenderfoot scout into Bill's care at Camp Cretanston in Indiana. When he arrived at Cretanston, Jim dragged his duffel bag into the cabin where Bill served as counselor. On the first day, no sooner had I walked out the cabin's front door than I tripped and broke my arm and was back in town, Lovell remembered. On the first day of camp life, I was back in town getting my arm set with my mother, worried and my cousin in deep trouble. But it turned out that this was a lesson that things don't always go right. I've certainly learned that one over the years. And so Jim Lovell uses scouting in times like this, and he says that he used these when he was up in space flying Apollo 13. And that is the same with Robert Scott and Percy Sutton and all these other Eagle Scouts that I'm reading about. So this is what I ask you guys. As you guys are scouts, during such a weird time, this pandemic of COVID-19, how will this impact your life later when you become an Eagle Scout? And when you're in a place of leadership, how will this time affect you? And where your name, your name, if you become an Eagle Scout, will be in the legacy of honor.